What's up YouTube, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, we've been out on vacation and I apologize. We were back in the building in the sanctuary. I got one of my old, old guys. I had this guy in the lab with me for a long, long time. Probably as long as I've been doing this. So we're gonna knock some stuff out today. The first thing we wanna talk about is a finish. We haven't done a lot of finishes on the channel, but this one is one that I wanna make sure that we add to the game. It's a real easy one. We're gonna talk about the footwork and how you launch, and then we're gonna talk about the mechanics of how you're gonna shoot the layup. If you add this to your game, it gives you a different way of finishing at the rim in traffic, as opposed to just having an underhand and an overhand layup. So let's get to it. And I know, yeah, you hear that sound. Class in session. I'm here with my guy Dame. So Dame, here's what we got today. We're gonna work on a finish. Here's how it's gonna work. The cone's gonna be dead center of the basket. When we work on finishes, as you already know, we wanna make sure we're just focusing on just the finish. So we're not working on any dribble moves, no pivot, triple threat, none of that. This is just the finish. All right, so the first thing is here, I'll be at arms length away from the cone. We're gonna work on the footwork first. This is called extended stop. So what's gonna happen is if I'm in my pivot, triple threat, I want you to cross step, put the ball down. As soon as you put the ball down, this is the first to last step. You'll take one more step here. It's extended, uh, it's called an extended stop because my feet are extended, they're open. When I launch at the rim, I want you to launch up with two hands. So the ball goes up with two, you're gonna kinda show the ball. Then when you release it, before you release it, the ball comes away from one hand. So I'm up in the air with two and then I extend away. So it's called an extend away finish. What you wanna do is put the ball up high on the glass every time, not low. And if you wanna put some English on it, remember the rule is thumb to the rim. So when I go up with two and extend away, my thumb should go this way. If I turn the ball this way, ball will go right into the rim. All right, make sense? All right, give it a try. Extend away. Good, perfect, again, perfect. Good, again. Being picky, if you can, try this. When you extend away, really try to extend it away. Almost lock your elbow, just for the sake of the drill. I know it's a new finish, you may miss it, that's fine. But try to work on the mechanics of the, sh of the shot. There you go, it's a good one, again. So here's what we got. Uh, four dubs real quick. Dan's getting some work in, it's perfect. So then go left, Let's see what the left looks like. Same thing. Again, don't be scared to miss. This is a new finish. I'm up with two, extend away from the defense. Spin it with your left. Yep. Four dubs. This is called, an ex good finish. An extended stop into an extend away finish. This is a good finish for the traffic when I go up. Good, Dan. All right, so here's how you'll do it. It's perfect. So what I want you to do is do them sets of five. You do five right, five left. All right, I don't care about misses. Just try to continue to work on stopping correctly, launching correctly, and getting that ball up. All right? Extended stop, extend away finish. This is something that you must add to your game. Why? In basketball, a lot of you guys only have two finishes, over and under. This is side, and it allows you to extend away from the defender. Gives you an advantage because I can show the ball. Defense goes and attacks this ball. Next thing you know, the ball's away from them. Where do I do this? Obviously, this is a finish. You do it at the rim. Pretty simple on this one. Last thing is good, good. Go right, you're good. Last one is why. You must have this because again, a lot of you only have two ways of finishing, under and over. In basketball, there's no absolutes. You need to be prepared for anything in order to be successful and good at this game. So this is something that you must, must work on. Good, one more day. One, two, get away. Good, it's perfect. Try this as soon as you can, this is an easy one. Put a cone out, no dribbling, focus on your footwork and the mechanics of your finish. You can thank me later. We'll see you on the next one.